What is the therapeutic alliance in psychotherapy and why is it important? Let's start with the second question. Why does the therapeutic alliance matter? It matters because literally thousands of research studies have shown over decades that a strong therapeutic alliance is one of the, if not the, most robust and reliable predictors of successful psychotherapy. One famous example of a research study in the therapeutic alliance world is the NIH Treatment of Depression Collaborative Study. This large clinical trial compared medication, placebo, and two different types of psychotherapy for the treatment of depression. In the end, few differences were found in outcomes between the different treatment groups. Instead, the strongest predictor of a good outcome from treatment was the strength of the therapeutic alliance. So now that I've convinced you it's important, what is therapeutic alliance? Therapeutic alliance refers to the ability of patient and therapist together to develop an agreement or a shared understanding of the nature or cause of the patient's problems, the goals of the therapy, and the tasks that will need to be undertaken in the therapy to resolve problems and meet goals. A final aspect is the emotional bond or connection that develops between patient and therapist, which is often mistaken for the whole therapeutic alliance itself. But importantly, this emotional bond is strengthened by therapist and patient deciding exactly what the problem is, what are the goals of therapy, and what tasks need to be done to get there. The Therapeutic Alliance is relevant really to all forms of psychotherapy. For instance, a psychodynamic therapist will help the patient see that their problem, such as depression, is really caused by unconscious mental processes. And to meet goals, the task of therapy is to help those unconscious processes become conscious. In contrast, a cognitive behavioral therapist will work toward an agreement with the patient that a problem like depression is due to thoughts and behaviors, and that those thoughts and behaviors need to be adjusted to improve the depression. The therapeutic alliance is even relevant for patients seeking medications for mental health problems such as depression. As we saw in the Treatment of Depression Collaborative study, patients in the medication group had better outcomes if they had a strong therapeutic alliance with their prescriber. Now that you know what therapeutic alliance is and why it's so important in psychotherapy, let me give you a couple of caveats. First, although therapeutic alliance is necessary, it is not sufficient to cure depression or really any other mental health problem. Once therapist and patient agree on the nature of the patient's problems and the goals and tasks of therapy, then the hard work of completing those therapy tasks must take place. This can include having to face difficult, painful thoughts, feelings, and memories and ultimately changing one's behavior, the hardest thing of all. The second caveat is that there are other aspects of the therapeutic alliance that are unconscious or outside your awareness. This can be a strong motivation to want to work hard and get help and change, or on the other hand, it can be a roadblock for instance, you might have a strong conscious alliance with the therapist and agree with them about your problems and the goals and the tasks of therapy, but you just don't do it. You just don't participate. In this latter case, it is very important that you discuss this and work it through with your therapist.
So, now you know Therapeutic Alliance is not just liking your therapist or having a kind or empathetic therapist. It is a working relationship that you and your therapist develop together. Please leave me a question or comment. Consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.